the specific day, the wedding was at my, uh, Denise's mother's house, and we had 25 people to the wedding. This was not the typical modern wedding of a cast of thousands. And then we went to Tanglewood for our honeymoon, and Denise couldn't get over it that I was studying for national boards on a honeymoon, but this is the story of our life. <laughs> So one of the key things we've found in recent years is that when you store a memory, you not only have a storage process, but you have a special component of it that is concerned with the persistence of the memory. When you remember something, it produces anatomical changes in your brain. And those new synaptic connections carry the memory for an indefinite period of time. Prion molecules exist in two conformations, in which they're essentially a single molecule, a couple of molecules, and an aggregated one in which a whole bunch of molecules come together. And when it was first discovered, it was shown to be involved in brain disorders. It's toxic. It kills cells. We found a form that does not do any damage to the cell. The opposite is beneficial. It is essential for the maintenance of memory storage. That allows you to remember, to remember a memory for your lifetime, how you remember your first love experience for the rest of your life. If you interfere with it, memory that's established collapses. Clearly, an event such as one's marriage, particularly if there's only one, uh, is very important, a very significant event, one of the most significant events of one's life. You walk out of an experience like that with a different brain than you walked into that experience.